Welcome to Blight Brain. Do you remember that we discussed a chemical change named combustion in the last video? Today, let's discuss the other chemical changes. Tarnishing of metals. Tarnishing of metals is a great problem in our day-to-day -day life. A reddish brown substance called rust is formed on the surface of the metals. Rusting of iron. Since rusting of iron is a great problem in our day-to-day -day life, we must avoid it. For that, we must identify the factors needed for it. Some experiments could help. Take three test tubes and name them A, B and C. Fill boiled water into test tube A and put a clean iron nail in the boiled water and pour a little bit of coconut oil into it and cover the test tube A. Next, use test tube B and put some cold water and a clean iron nail into it. Now. Seal it with coconut oil just like the previous setup and keep it aside. Now, take test tube C and pour cold water into it and also drop a clean iron nail in. What was the observation? Yeah, the iron nails in test tube B and C were rusted. Why didn't the nail in test tube A didn't rust? And why didn't the nails in test tube B and C rust? The water in test tube A was heated and the air in it has been expelled even though there was moisture. But air was there in the cold water which was in test tube B and C and there was water too. So it has been rusted. This shows that rusting needs water, air and iron. Just to confirm and learn this experiment. Take a cork stopper and fix two iron nails in opposite sides. Now add some calcium chloride crystals into a boiling tube and close it with that cork stopper with two iron nails. Air tight it with wax. You would have observed that the outer part of the nail which was exposed to the atmosphere was rusted and the inner part wasn't. What's the reason for this? Well, there was air inside the boiling tube but the water was absorbed by calcium chloride. Water vapor and oxygen are present in the atmosphere, so the outer part has been rusted. Let's try another experiment too. Take two test tubes and name them A and B. Now, tap some moist cotton wool into test tube A and some iron fillings and moist cotton wool in test tube B. Fill a beaker with water and dip the test tubes upside down in that beaker. Observe after few days. The iron fillings were rusted. What else? Yeah, the water level has been risen up in test tube B. But there was no change in test tube A. The only difference between these test tubes were the iron fillings. When the iron fillings rust, the oxygen was used. And to fill the vacuum, the water has been risen up. This confirms the fact that rusting needs oxygen. Protection of iron from rusting Iron is rusted when oxygen and water come in contact with it. But what if it doesn't? If we can avoid oxygen and water come in contact with iron, it will be protected from rusting. Some methods are used for this, such as galvanizing, applying grease, applying paint, applying tin, etc. Zinc applied on iron which is called galvanizing doesn't even rust even if it is scratched. So that's the most protective method. Neutralization. What is neutralization? When an acid and base reacts, it forms a neutral substance. Do you know what does it produce? Salt and water. For example, adding sodium hydroxide to hydrochloric acid produces sodium chloride and water. That's why when the acidity in the stomach increases, milk of magnesia is used. Lime is applied for bee stings. But lemon juice must be applied for wasp sting. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you are satisfied with my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And your comments are mostly welcome for me to improve further.